Good morning, students. This is the another in our series of videos of helping you spiritually to advance in your work. This is about completion. Like when you have finished your exam phase of this phase of your life, you are completed. Now we just the text the text says I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to you, bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. God is saying, saying this. No, Paul is saying this about what God, what God will do. I am sure. He's not bragging or boasting or anything. He just knows because he had done it already. He says, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in us will bring it to completion. So whatever Jesus did for you in the past, to bring it to completion, he will do it. He will do it. And then we just got a couple more slides again. When when Jesus enters a person's life, he does a job on them. He interferes with your permission, because he won't do it by himself. With your permission, he begins to alter their DNA. As soon as Jesus enters your life, you know he's not going to rush in and take over your life. But he, he will stand at the door and knock. And when you answer him and you tell him yes come in he comes in but the room that he comes in he finds it cluttered cluttered up with all different type of distractions so he begins on your dna that the first thing he, he alters your dna everything after when you allow jesus to enter your life it begins to, to get you to like him, to get you to understand him, to get you to love him. This is what Jesus does when he um, comes into you, a person's life. He interferes with their, with their DNA. That's the basic structure of your body. So he has to bring that body into subjection according to how he wants. Not how you want, but how he wants. So it begins to alter your DNA. These, these are the things he, 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 he doesn't alter in your DNA. Jesus replaces hatred with love. That is one of the first things he does with our DNA. He places hatred with love. And selfishness. He replaces selfishness with sharing. When you are selfish, that's the opposite of you have to share. Right? And then roughness, the way some of us speak to our, our mothers, our parents, our guardians, our sisters and our brothers, it replaces this roughness we have inside of us, the gentleness. That is, that is part of the DNA structure, is in the payment. Because if he doesn't know that, you will continue doing living the way you, you live. He has to alter your DNA. So to do that, he does some replacements. He takes all what doesn't belong to him and put in what belongs to him. Jesus brings to a close whatever he has begun. If he has begun to restructure your life, make you into a better person, with being gentle, being kind, being loving, whatever he does to alter your DNA, he does it. <laughs> Jesus brings to a close whatever he has begun. Whatever prompted him to come into your life, and he sees the changes that, that 
he has wrote already started in your life. He has, he, he brings you a close whatever he has brought, he has begun. Whatever Jesus brings you, you just brings you a memory, whatever you have reviewed. So we bring it to, to your work. Whatever you have reviewed, ask Jesus and he will help you to remember it. No, if or maybe, this is, this is what he does. He does that to each one of us. He alters our memory. He brings to a close whatever he has begun. And he brings to your memory whatever you have reviewed. So if you have reviewed everything and have left anything undone, he will bring it back to you. He's a master that he has done it for me in the past and he does it for, for you. He will do it for you. We thank you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for what you have promised us. You promised us that you will be with us. Be with these students as they, as they go, go nearer and as they draw nearer and nearer to their exam time. Help them to remember the things that they have studied. There's plenty of things from standard won't come straight up. But Lord, what is pertinent and what is, what is given to them? To remember, in the name of Jesus, help them to remember it in Jesus' name. Amen.